Now concerned groups under the aegis of the Lagos Assembly of Trade and Labour Veterans have uh, begun the resignation of, uh, of call for the resignation of the National Chairman of the Labour Party, LP, Jela Sabri, and the President of the Labour Congress, NLC, Mr. Joe uh, Ajairo, over their continual leadership as veteran Labour leader, Isa Tijani, on behalf of ex-workers, made this known at a press conference in Lagos. Comrade Tijani accused both uh, both the leaders of woefully failing in their positions in the midst of economic challenges as Niger the Nigerians are facing. He called on the president of the NLC, Comrade George Ayrud, and has been playing politics and that Nigerian workers and Nigerian workers' welfare are not seen sensitive to the plight. While he said that Buri is showing no desperation in his bid to continue to clinch the power when he lacks the will to keep the party together. Against the painful background, that at the core of this profound crisis is the endless tussle for the control of the party going on between the party's embattled chairman, Barrister Julius Aburi, and the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Comrade Joy Ajero. The amount of energy, time, and resources that have been needlessly dissipated in this regime battle for personal aggrandizement leaves a sore test in the mouth. The discomforting aspect of this unfortunate situation is the resultant callous and complete abandonment of the constitutional duties and core responsibilities duly bestowed upon these leaders. On the contrary, Nigerian workers have been everywhere abandoned to their effects. It is a sad comment, com commentary that many years after the adoption of the current 30,000 Naira minimum wage, more than 10 state governors, fully aware of the endemic weaknesses of the union officials, have against all entities refused to pay the agreed amount. So on both sides, the labor front the reality of the situation is that workers have been made to suffer a crushing defeat from which they will continue to leave their open wounds and also find it extremely difficult to quickly heal. From the federal government side, sudden and abrupt withdrawal of petroleum subsidy to the drastic devaluation of the national currency and the newly announced insensitive hikes in the cost of the electricity tariff, the abysmal failure of the leaders of the labor unions and the labor party to provide credible challenge to this anti-people's policy are indeed sufficient basis for Nigerian workers to demand their resignation without any further delay. On top of this disconcerting labor leadership ineptitude, our Assembly of Labor Veterans Trade unionist is pained to admit that what is going on in the Labour Party under the watch of our power drunk Barista Julius Abure is a rep on democracy. In his desperate attempts to cling to power at all costs, he egregiously stepped on the big toes of all prominent party and political stakeholders. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.